Dunkers, I am so confused right now. Not about the plot of this film, trust me, once you've seen a film where single people are banished to a hotel and are then given 30 days to get into a relationship or be turned into a lobster, there's very little that confuses you in films. Apart from Memento, I mean, I am only human. But by the fact that this is a film directed by Danny Boyle. Fresh from getting out of the ungodly car crash that Bond 25 is turning into, team up with the writer of Love Actually. Danny, 27 hours later, Sunshine, 127 hours boil, teaming up with the writer of Love Actually. That's like Batman teaming up with the Ninja Turtles. Huh? He did that and it came out on DVD this year? Fine. That's like Batman teaming up with Judge Dredd. Twice? Sherlock Holmes, Tarzan, Scooby Flaming Doo. Fine. This writing team up is like Batman team up with my mate Tom who thinks that just because he doesn't drink he never has to get a round in. Git. The point is that this team up really shouldn't work and yet it does. Kinda. Really. The idea is incredibly cool in that a mysterious blackout has caused everyone to completely forget the Beatles, along with a few other things, ever existed and completely removed all records, CDs, YouTube videos, so on and so forth from existence. It's also the kind of surgical removal which has left all art inspired by the Beatles completely intact. The only person who remembers they exist is a failing singer who can recreate all their songs from scratch and even helps them to survive repeated encounters with Ed Sheeran. Now, we're never told how or why this happened and frankly, I don't care. We never questioned how or why Bill Murray got stuck in a time loop in Groundhog Day, and it's the same idea here. Again, it's not the biggest suspension of disbelief I've ever had to make, and it's a really cool idea to springboard from. It's just a shame that the main guy is a complete drip. None of his supporting characters get any depth, the plot's completely predictable once you strip away the Beatles veneer, there's a scene with James Corden in it, which is one too many in my book, and, well, it just doesn't have enough Beatles music in it. I mean, you would think that having allegedly spent $10 million of your $24 million budget on getting the rights to the songs, then you would use the damn things. But the film just doesn't. Which is a shame, as the film, for all its predictability, it has a real charm and warmth to it. A flawed idea brought to life by humans who are passionate about it, rather than made by marketing people in an attempt to sell toys. Now, the film does miss a wide open goal in Kate McKinnon's manager, um, manager, who, towards the end, almost seems to be some sort of villain who looks at our lead and just sees a license to print money, where it would have been cooler if she remembered as well, and was the devil on his shoulder, tempting him with money and fame if he would just keep his mouth shut and sing. Except, she's never used in that way. Also, she's not very funny in this either. Look, I don't want to give the impression that I'm down on yesterday because it doesn't really do anything wrong. I mean, it moved along in a decent clip, it's actors are solid, and it is a feel-good film with a few scenes that made me laugh and others that made me chuckle, but it's just that with a few rewrites, what's good could have been better. Make Manager into a seductive menace, develop the characters a bit after cutting maybe one or two of them, play some of the songs, and this could have been up there with Groundhog Day. Instead, it's just sort of there. Also. Why is it all the good films this summer are based off of songs that came out 15 years before I was born? Seriously, Hollywood, get it together before you have to make a film about the Eagles. And everyone hates the Eagles. Man, come on, I had a rough night and I hate the fucking Eagles, man. So I definitely think that you should see it. And if you could completely remove one thing from popular culture, what would it be? Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, it's been a donkey. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.